and welcome to part two of the Blizzard Survival Bag. It's been about half an hour to 45 minutes now since Marika's been in the uh, Thermal Survival Bag by Blizzard. Yep. How are you feeling? Um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty warm. Um, the only thing I'm noticing is on my back and my legs, I think I'm losing a lot of heat. Um, it's a little bit chillier than the rest of me. Okay, so this is actually a really um, good point that you've brought up. Now, if you're in a survival situation or any kind of situation actually where you're going to need to use one of these and you're going to be on the ground, obviously the first thing to do is have this and maybe find some shelter. So you want to build a debris hut or maybe create a snow cave if it's a winter survival situation or even find a cave. So you really want to protect yourself. Now, if that's not an option for you, can't, uh, you don't have any, you know, enough energy to build a shelter or there's just nothing around, now what you want to do is create an insulating layer between your bag and the ground. So things to consider, uh, pine needles. Now if you put uh, about an inch of uh, pine trees underneath you, that's about the equivalent of a thermal rest. So that's quite incredible and it'll keep you warmer. Other things you can consider using leaves. Uh, you can use moss, it's fantastic. Obviously if you have your thermal rest, use your thermal rest, it'll do the trick. Now other uh, statistics about the Blizzard survival bag, well it comes in covert green so if you're in a military tactical forces and whatnot you can obviously use this one as a covert bag it comes in orange and silver so for those of you who uh, like matching your accessories <laughs> you have that option so a uh, fantastic product overall we're gonna test it tonight and let you know how it holds up so thanks for joining us on peak survival and we'll see you soon